Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Good to see some sunshine as the shoppers at Tops in Meadville are enjoying on our Bunnell's truck and RV collision camera. Swinging on over another Crawford County stop, uh, the Barber J docked on the western shores of Conneaut Lake, community Chevrolet camera. Nice to see the trees budding as well there. So let's get into radar. We've got nothing to worry about for much of the night. As you go to the west, you can see some showers. These on a trajectory to go towards us. Thunderstorms down here, but like the ones last night, they kind of stayed to the south of Erie, at least the worst of them. And speaking of last night, thanks to WKBN and our storm chaser, Steve Marshall. Yes, they did have a tornado. This is in Trumbull County, just west of Mercer County in PA. But thankfully, like last Thursday, the severe storms kind of died as they came across from Trumbull County across the state line into PA. So what's coming tonight is uh, nothing like that. It's really waiting until uh, pre-dawn hours tomorrow. You can see some showers there. You see, can see some showers at lunchtime, and then they should be moving out. Today we got to 60 degrees for a high, 52 for the low. Now the 60 was very early in the morning. So we are in this cooler weather pattern. And uh, Kind of wet for the month, but that's good because we were below normal for the year. Uh, now we're within a half inch, three quarters of an inch of normal in Erie, PA. So showers return late tonight. They move out tomorrow afternoon. As, as we said, an improving cool weekend. Uh, Saturday, mainly dry, if not completely dry for some of you. Could be a passing shower. Uh, High of 50. Remember, normal high is 58. Sunday, not that much different, but there will be more sunshine in the skies, but still cool on Sunday. 58 from Bill in North Harbor Creek, 57 Lore in Edinburgh, Wendy in Venango Township, also 57 degrees. Down south, Kathy and Mike in Sagertown at 63, Roseanne in Espyville at 59, 59 also from John and Jeb in Titusville. Warren Fire Department at 60, Kathy and Youngsville at 59. So we're waiting for this thing to go through and behind it, a little bit better weather, but you can see on the high temperatures, it's a cooler pattern that's coming back into the area. Now the one good thing about that as you watch your computer model maps in motion is that that really suppresses your chances for severe storms when it gets cooler. This model says about eight o'clock in the morning to Erie for the showers and they're out by two or three. And then as we go through into Saturday, we have sunshine, and then we have kind of a little bit of cloudiness coming down here, so some spots may pop a renegade shower, but don't expect that. Many of you will stay dry on Saturday with increasing sunshine, but still cool, as we said, for Sunday. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore, increasing clouds tonight, chance of showers towards daybreak, 47 to 50 for your lows. South of 90 inland, Cambridge and Oil City and Union City, 48 to 51. Nice evening, maybe some showers towards daybreak. Should stay dry. Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean in the mountains, 45 to 48. So for tomorrow, clouds, showers in the morning. The sky's bright and later. We'll go with low 60s tomorrow night. It's dry, it's chilly, 36 to 41. So as advertised, Saturday maybe a couple of drops. Other than that, more sunshine Sunday and Monday. Some showers may return late on Tuesday into early Wednesday, uh, but not a lot of rain and dry weather a week from today. Cool temperatures uh, prevailing for most of that seven day forecast. Check it out in more detail, as well as our great live camera views on the Your Erie to Go app.